your experience is determined by anything other than yourself, naturally you'll try to avoid a few things and go after a few things. Whatever you consider as those which instigate or stimulate pleasant experiences, you go after that. Whatever you think will create unpleasant experiences, you'll go away from that. Once this division happens in your consciousness, that you divide the existence into two, knowing the ultimate unity becomes unnecessarily difficult. Why so much stress and joy, love, blissfulness is simply because of this, so that your experience is not determined by something else. Once, if you sit here and you think, this tree creates pleasant experience for you and that tree creates unpleasant experience for you, naturally you will never step in that direction, you will only hang around here. That's what is happening right now. That's, that's what is happening with every aspect of life. So once you divide the world, People have been telling you silly things that uh, you should love your enemies. I don't know why you have to make your life so hard. First make an enemy out of somebody and then try to love him. <laughs> it's very difficult. Isn't it very difficult? If you don't make him your enemy, it would be easy. You make him your enemy and then you try to love him. This is an impossible condition, no? They always want to set impossible things for you so that you will constantly go there. Let's look at the possibilities. Unless you do not divide the world, it's very difficult to embrace the world, isn't it? In your consciousness, if you divide that this is mine, this is not mine, then trying to grab everything is very difficult. Either everything is mine or nothing is mine, this is okay. Nothing is mine, this is one way, it is okay. Or everything is mine, this is okay, it will work. These are workable solutions. You are my enemy, but I love you. <laughs> this is very, very difficult. It's a torture. And the fundamental for dividing the world is somewhere one entity causes pleasantness, another entity causes unpleasantness within you. That's why you divide the world, isn't it? It is essentially a survival mode. You know if you go here, it will be unpleasantness. You know if you go there, it will be pleasantness. So slowly you start going there, 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 not here. And after some time you cannot go there at all because you know the level of unpleasantness that happens within you. Only if you are determining the nature of your experience, you can keep it pleasant within yourself no matter where you are. If people cause unpleasantness, they can do it only around you, never within you. Once this freedom is there, it's only then you can truly be inclusive, otherwise you get stuck. <laughs>